Another thing we got was a stuffed animal. It's just a great little stuffed animal. Um, but wait a minute, this is our dog. This is Stooky. It's a little dog, toy poodle. He comes along with us on our estate sales. Good little doggy. So um, I thought he was a stuffed animal that we had picked up, but nope, he's a real guy. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. Take care, go out, go swimming. So anyway, um, we also went and we sell a lot of gag gift trophies. And this is a bull. You see, somebody won it for some sort of cow contest, probably at a 4-H thing. But this will sell. Somebody will pick this up and give it to somebody for some gag gift. And they sell for about 25 bucks. You know, so you get them on there, it's kind of neat to have that. We also got about 10 hats. These are electric vehicle hats. This is actually a global electric motor car logo. And we got about 10 of these hats. And people love wearing these hats. They'll wear them at trade shows and different things. So we got that hat that we're working with. Along with that, we got a pair at the Apple uh, estate sale. This guy had bought a brand new pair of foot joints. Never been worn, still in the box. Brand new, we picked these up for five bucks. These shoes sell for probably $150, brand new. Uh, we'll probably put them on for about 50 bucks. We'll easily get that $50. They're a size 10, which is a good size, so that works pretty good. In addition, we got a um, Phoenix Suns t-shirt. What's really neat is it's number 33, and it's Grant Hill, who used to be a star player for the Phoenix Suns, and then he retired. But um, he's known as one of a the great sixth men in basketball, and he was just fantastic. Uh, we haven't got this on fit eBay yet, but we're putting it on eBay. But that's a great t-shirt that we got, so we were we'll have to get that. Uh, we got some neat golf clubs too. You know, of course, I told you that I love golf. And here we got the, uh, it's called the adjustable. This club can be adjusted to any degree of loft and you can play it. So you have a little wrench and you adjust it and then you hit it. Uh, now, a lot of times people don't like to see this one club come out on a golf course because this theoretically is the only club you need. You can keep adjusting this head up here. And so uh, we had one a couple of months ago and it sold right away for $50. They're kind of a novelty club, which is kind of neat. We also got a whole set of Henry Griffins. And I, this is the club that I play. I love them. They're, they're a custom-sized club. They're made in America. Uh, they're actually, I think they're out of uh, Colorado or somewhere in that neck of the woods. But this got a whole set of them. And these should sell very quickly. I've sold them before. People love them. Uh, they're a real heavy-duty, great club. And uh, I think you'd, uh, if you ever want to get a good set, it'd be a good club to get. The other thing we got, we got three bullseye putters. These bullseye putters are renowned. And um, Corey Pavin, Ben Crenshaw, and in the 70s, these putters were the hot item. Now. Uh, ben Crenshaw and even um, uh, Corey Pavin still play these putters on the tour, on the seniors tour. So um, we'll be putting these on. We got these. We picked these up for five bucks each. Hopefully we can get about 25 each. We, that's what I think they'll go for. We also picked up a real nice zebra mallet putter. These putters uh, are still very, very good putters. And this one we got for five bucks also. Should get 25 bucks for it online. So, uh, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about shirts. We, um, when we go out and buy shirts, we make sure that we buy name brand shirts. And so, this is, this happens to be a Tommy Bahama shirt. This shirt sold, we just sold it this weekend. 
Uh, and we always try to buy them, like I said, in the double X or two XL sizes. But anytime you buy a shirt and you're going to sell it, you want to buy shirts that are high-end shirts that people would not pay $100 for new, but would pay $25 or $50 for them used. And this is and we love t-shirts, especially t-shirts with a message. This message says the colors, these colors do not run. And so this is a great t-shirt. Uh, a lot of people are interested in um, those shirts. Here's a, another one similar to that. This one here is, oh, this is, this is a beer cooler shirt. So. We got this at uh, Savers, so um, picked it up for a buck. That, that'll be a good shirt to sell. And then we actually got a Harley Davidson shirt. Now this shirt is the full deal. If you look right here, you'll see that there's the tag and everything. So whenever you're selling, shirts and that's the real deal they'll sell for that one this shirt should sell for 25 bucks so that's a good one to get so just want to remind you when you buy shirts make sure you get the name brand you know the name brand that I'm talking about is oh um, Tommy Hill figures if you're in the golf side the shark you know Greg Norman uh, Ashworth any of those kinds of shirts that if you're gonna get the polos Ralph Lauren is an excellent shirt. Perry Ellis, Travis Matthew, and um, those shirts. Make sure you get the high-end shirts because people are looking for those. Another neat thing we got was this shadow box. Uh, it's pretty neat. It goes on the wall. You put your picture in the middle, and that will go very nicely with some golfer for Father's Day. Somebody will give that to their dad. Another neat thing we got, we got a whole set of golf clubs. These are five bucks. They're lady signature golf clubs. Again, like I've talked about, people buy these older clubs to start golf with. You're not going to sell these older clubs to people that are playing and are accomplished golfers unless they've lost a club and they're trying to find the club that they lost. But you are going to sell them to someone like I did yesterday. Yesterday I had a young man and um, I had a set of Ben Hogan's and those clubs are vintage, they were the edge. Uh, he said, look, I'm just starting out. And what I did is I threw in a lesson with him yesterday. So I went to the driving range, brought the clubs, and I'm a pretty decent golfer and was able to give him lessons. We got him on the course, he just loved it. He was so happy because he's a young exec and he was told by his bosses that he better learn the game of golf because his company buys sponsorships at different golf tournaments and then they want their young execs to play with the, the teams you know for example um, he's with a company that uh, the Phoenix Suns and the uh, Diamondbacks have um, different kinds of golf outings and they, they wanted him to play well he said I didn't want to be the guy that people are talking about that's the lousiest golfer. So I'm gonna give him another lesson, but I'm gonna refer him to a PGO, a pro. But he loved the clubs, he was hitting them decent, and we sold him a whole set for 100 bucks. So that worked out pretty good. The other thing that we did get this week is a couple neat uh, deals again. This is the Tostita. Oops. The Tostita football game and this is in Phoenix and this is at Glendale and it's a beautiful uh, print this was in the guy's man cave and this easily should sell for about $75 beautiful framing and everything and we got one more here I'm going to show you and let's see here Let me get this one nicely And another success golf hole. People like to put them in their offices at work or in their man cave or like I said at barber shops and different kinds of um, 
car dealerships, people that are golfers, put them in there. Businesses and, you know, kind of motivational types of things. So, um, that's kind of what we got this week. I uh, just wanted to let you know, my next video I'm going to talk a little bit about golf tournaments and branding. So I've done a lot of golf outings in my life and I uh, can tell you how you can make money for your charity or your cause that you might have and what you should do to make them work. I'm going to show you some uh, products that we developed so that eventually people wanted to get into that tournament and it was always full so that uh, you create this real demand for that golf outing. So, uh, again, I hope you have a great week. And if you have any questions, um, go to my Facebook page, you know, Golf Quest International, and leave some comments after this video, and I'll answer them for you. So, have a good day.